Hi, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and this is going to be about a 10 minute or so video on operating the uh, 10 Tech Omni 7 and the N4PY Pegasus Plus software in uh, front panel mode. Now this gives you uh, a choice. You can operate the radio entirely from the front panel or you can uh, perform uh, functions through the software either way. So uh, there are people out there who like to operate the radio from the front panel, don't really particularly care to use uh, software to run the radio. But there is one good, in my mind, there's one good reason uh, to do this, and that's what we'll talk about. So here's the front panel of the radio. He's powered up. He's ready to go. And I'll start the software. reposition the window here okay so you know you can change bands the radio will follow you can push the button to change bands the software will follow you can change modes through the software or you can press the mode key and you can press uh, press it again, then press it again, and now you're on AM. Software followed. So things that might be easier to do through the software are things that require multiple button presses uh, on the radio. So things like uh, filter bandwidths are probably easier here. Changing modes is probably easier. Changing bands, probably not easier. It's just as easy to push this button as it is this button. So why would you do this? Why would you operate the software if you're going to operate the radio through the front panel? Well, what if you have a logging program, digital mode program, pan adapter program, maybe other programs that you want to communicate with the radio? If you don't use the N4PY software, then you have to figure out some way to let multiple programs talk to the radio all at the same time. Now I know uh, OmniRig is out there, and I've tried to use it, and I've always had troubles. They might be my troubles. Um, maybe I'm not doing something right, or I don't know. But I don't think I've ever gotten it to work successfully with multiple programs trying to talk to one radio on one serial port. So, um, I did a video not long ago about setting the N4PY software up to use multiple virtual serial ports. And so that's what you would do. You would set up uh, as many as five virtual serial port pairs. The software would control one port out of each pair. The N4PY software would control one port out of each pair. And then your logging program, your pen adapter program, your digital mode program would be assigned to the other port in each pair. And, and we'll show that. And all of that's explained in the previous video that I did. So uh, let's show you how that works. So, and in fact, uh, once, you, once you start this software, assuming it's already configured, to use the multiple serial ports and assuming your other software is also configured you don't even really need this window up anymore so you can use this space for something else so uh, the first one I'll bring up is my logging program which is logic version 9 and the uh, N4PY serial ports, uh, N4PY program uses the Kenwood command set to communicate through these virtual serial ports. So what you have to do is tell your, th your external program you're using a Kenwood radio. If you tell your program you're using an, uh, an Omni 7, uh, it won't work. So um, pick a Kenwood radio and, and it'll depending on the program you may have to go through a list of Kenwood radios before you find one that works because each program uh, seems to be a little bit different but 
anyway you'll, you'll get it working so here we're talking to the uh, logging software and if I go up here and change bands this will follow almost immediately this will follow almost immediately so let's start another one let's start FL Digi and you can see he's caught up he's on frequency and so again you change bands this one catches up this one catches up and then of course the radio catches up or if you turn the knob you'll see the logging program and FL Digi keeping up now, there's a little bit of a lag uh, but it's not bothersome and it doesn't hurt anything um, but you know you'll turn the knob and then once you stop it'll catch up pretty quick so let's start one more program let's start uh, the pan adapter program so what happened here is the radio was set to the frequency that was in the pan adapter program because that's what HDSDR does is he commands the radio to set to HDSDR's frequency so you can start and let's bring this down bring this up and you have your point and click and everything will catch up right and you can I'm tuning the uh, model 302 uh, tuning encoder instead of the uh, radio let's bring up uh, where did it go So we'll just kind of move him out of the way as much as we can. So you can see I'm not turning the knob on the front panel with the frequency changing. So I'm using the remote tuning encoder. It's the same thing. Everything stays caught up. So um, that's about it. Uh, like I said, you can operate the radio fully from the front panel. But if everything's configured right, you can go back and watch that other video to see how to configure everything. You can get your front panel and you can have your communication with all of your programs uh, simultaneously all at the same time. And um, let's fire up WSJT because he, he does a neat trick. And you probably wouldn't normally start two digital mode programs at the same time but you can so you can see this frequency is in red because it's not uh, any of the normal digital mode frequencies but instead of tuning the radio if you go up here and set your mode he'll set the radio and he'll set all the other programs if we go back and look at the logging program wherever it is so they're all on the same frequency now and that's a neat little thing that WSJT does so you can uh, you can change modes and he'll reset the radio now the radio is in split mode because I've configured WSJT to use rig split so he sets the uh, uh, that's the transmit frequency uh, VFO here so that's about it um, I still got a minute so I'll show you one more thing so which I also demonstrated in the other video if we look at uh, VSP manager which is what I use for uh, creating virtual serial ports you can see that uh, COM 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 are being held by the N4PY software and then COM 10 which is the other pair the other port in this pair FL Digi is using it, COM 11 is my logging program COM 12 is WSJT uh, HDSDR is COM 14 and I got one left over so I don't know what else I would put there but it's available if I need it so that's it um, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, why a person who likes to run the radio from the front panel might want to crank up the N4PY software um,
strictly for the uh, ability to communicate with all these other programs and like I said you can minimize this you don't really need it and then uh, you can just operate the radio as normal through the front panel you can uh, get to the menus you can do anything you can do RIT, XIT and the radio works uh, works uh, as usual with the uh, added ability to communicate with all your other software so I've run a little bit over but uh, that's it so I hope you were not too distracted by this reflection in the uh, display uh, but it's uh, hard to get rid of anyhow I uh, appreciate you uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed